First, we create that deadened look using some white foundation. I want to use a white foundation instead of a white face paint this time because I'm going to be blending a lot of shadows and blushes into it. Using a dark purple pencil, I'm going to create a higher crease. Going in with a dark purple shadow and a good crease brush, I'm going to blend into that pencil crease. Using a lighter shade of purple, going in and blending and creating a tapered effect on the outer eye. Going even lighter, I'm going to blend the colors together. With the excess color left over on the brush, blend the shadow up into the front of the eyebrows. This helps to create a saddened effect on the eyebrows. With a small shadow brush, drag some of that dark purple shadow under the bottom lash line. And to deepen the crease, I am going in with a small brush and some black eyeshadow. Continue to push the black shadow up into the front of the brow to create more of that furrowed, sad look. Blend some underneath the eyes with a fluffy brush. And continue to push the color under the eyes to create a hollow socket and tired dead effect. With some gray or black shadows and a small shadow brush, contour the nose. I wanted to make it look a little bumpier around the bridge. Pat a white shimmery eyeshadow onto the lids. I lightened up and cleaned the lids up further with the white foundation again to sharpen all the edges a bit more. such as the brow bone, under the eye, clean up sharp edges with your white foundation. Using a mixture of varying different purples and a little bit of grays, I'm contouring my cheeks 
and bringing it up to the temples and around the sides of my forehead and jawline as well. I used a shadow brush to make it a little sharper on the cheeks. Clean up any smudges and sharpen your edges a bit more with your white foundation. Create a further highlighted impact with an iridescent white shadow and a blush brush on your cheeks, on your nose, around your forehead, wherever you want more light to pop. I went in with a few different dark lipsticks, a dark purple and all a dark purple almost black and just dabbed it on the middle of my lips with my finger. Using the white foundation, I dabbed a little bit around the outer edges of the mouth to lighten it up. Create some wrinkles around the mouth. I just puckered my lips a little bit and went with natural lines around my lips with some dark shadow. Black eyeshadow and an angled brush and create more cracked looking lines in the middle of your lips and then blend it out with a fluffy brush. I wanted to add a bit more dead effect to my skin, so I went in with a more bluish shadow around my eyes and around my cheekbones as well. Extra touch-ups on the lips to give it a little more definition. I wanted a little more correct. color in your hair, a little gray hair, white hair. I really hate this stuff. It smells, it's sticky, and it does nothing to my hair. Last but not least, paint in your teeth with black tooth paint. I also made a prosthetic or a ripped wing and also made these wings that are retractable when pulled. 